Hitachi no Koi by Lamp. Guys, I have great news. This this is one of the easier Lamp songs to play, yet it's no less of a joy. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel, Marin Music Center. Let me show you this thing. It's in standard tuning, no capo. Um, also, it's a great introduction to Bossa Nova, so I think you're going to love it. We're going to start with the intro. Guys, please put your middle finger on this fifth fret of the second string from the top. Guys, please put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. Guys, please have your pointer finger lean down and smash down onto the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom as well. I, I explain that in the worst possible way. Your pointer finger, gonna smash down on four of the middle two strings is what I'm trying to say. It's not that bad. It's not like a real bar chord. Then your middle finger, like I said before, is on five of the second string from the top. Your ring finger is on five of the second string from the bottom. This is a D6 chord. How do you feel about it? Now it is time for us to learn the picking pattern for the entire song. Guys, no pick, all finger picking. Here's what's gonna happen. With your thumb, play the second string from the top. Then immediately following that, not immediately, I mean like pretty soon afterwards, you're gonna use these three fingers, pointer, middle, ring. You're gonna play the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top. You just grab onto the bottoms of those strings and you're just gonna go pow, like that. You just pluck them all at the same time. So we go thumb, pluck, karate, chop. Thumb, pluck, play with me. Thumb, pluck, there we go. Thumb, pluck, sounds almost like a really bad insult. This is... <sighs> After you go thumb, pluck, you're gonna do thumb again, and then you're gonna pluck again, but you're gonna pluck immediately this time, like right away, ASAP, ASAP, we go thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck. Play it with me, guys, thumb, pluck, thumb pluck great job one more time thumb pluck thumb pluck okay we did it there's a tiny little pause and then you pluck again and then you start the whole thing over so watch this thumb pluck thumb pluck pluck thumb pluck thumb pluck pluck thumb pluck thumb pluck pluck see what i'm saying so it's thumb pluck thumb pluck pluck back to the beginning guys let's play it four times in a row, you and me together. Just two thumb plucks playing some guitar. One, two, karate time. And thumb pluck, thumb pluck, pluck. Two, pluck, thumb pluck, pluck. Three, pluck, four, pluck. I'm not lying. That's the rhythm for literally the entire song. Can you handle it? I can handle it. I can handle anything. I'm the strongest man in the world. Guys, my name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. Go to marinemusic.com. Sign up for my newsletter and I will tell you what songs are coming out in advance. It's so much fun. We have such a good time in there. I just talk about stuff. I think last email I did, I talked about... I talked about some weird stuff. I talk about weird stuff in the email, guys. I'm not going to lie, ChatGPT helps me with it sometimes. It helps me with brainstorming. And sometimes if I can't think of a title, I tell it to give me titles. And then it gives me the worst titles. Like I'll say, hey, can you give me an email title for a guitar newsletter about useful accessories? And it says, sure, how about unraveling the enigma of chords for the centuries? And I'm like, whoa, bro, chill out. I was thinking more like seven guitar accessories. And it goes, no problem. How about an endless cycle of guitar plectrums for the future of mankind. Like, I'm, ChatGPT has some, okay. We'll keep learning the song, I promise. Now here's the thing, guys. I told you that that was the picking for the entire song, but I just realized that I completely lied to you. That's the rhythm for the whole song, but check it out. We need to add one more thing. Get your D6 chord ready to go again. You're gonna go thumb, fingers, but then instead of just doing thumb on the second string from the top again, we're actually gonna have the thumb play the top string and your middle finger over here is gonna jump up to the top string on the fifth fret. So we go thumb, fingers, top fingers, fingers second, fingers, top fingers. See, look, 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 watch my thumb, watch my thumb. Second string from the top, top string. Second from the top, top string. And then over here, my middle finger is going second from the top, top string. See what I'm saying? Okay, great. Fantastic. So we're going to play through that pattern with both strings. We're going to do that twice on the D6. So it's... And 
then we are going to switch to what is known as the G minor six chord, guys. Middle finger, third fret on the top string. Your pointer finger is going to play second fret on the third string from the top. Your ring finger plays the third fret on the third string from the bottom, and your pinky plays third fret, second string from the bottom, guys. This is a G minor six chord. We're gonna do the same picking pattern, except your thumb is never gonna play the second string from the top. It's gonna stay on the top string the whole time. So we just go thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, top, fingers, top, fingers, fingers. We're doing the pattern twice on the D6, then twice on the G minor six. However, there is one more tricky little thing I have to show you. After that, we're on easy streak, just learning chords. It's gonna be a blast and a half. But here's the last little tricky thing. When we switch chords, we're not gonna switch right on the beat. We're gonna switch right before the beat. So here's what that means. Check it out, check it out. Watch, watch, watch. Three, four. Thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. So what I did there is when we do the two fingers in a row, the fingers, fingers, we switch chords for the second fingers. I think that makes sense. Look, play it with me, play it with me. We're gonna go really slowly. Three, four, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, Thumb, fingers, switch, fingers, thumb, fingers. Let's do it one more time. I know it's a little tricky. It's called an anticipation. It's where you switch chords a half of a beat before you feel like you should switch chords. One, two, last time. And thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, switch, fingers, thumb, fingers. Got, got a bone. Then watch this. See what I'm doing? All right, so now we are ready to play the whole intro. So the intro just does the D6 twice to the G minor six twice, back to the D6 twice, back to the G minor six twice, and we anticipate the chords each time. We do that every single time we switch chords in the song. We anticipate the next chord and switch right on the fingers. One, two, here we go. And thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb. Thumb, fingers, switch, fingers, thumb. We have finished the introduction to the song. We are now heading headfirst into the verse of the song. You're gonna love the verse because it's basically the same as the intro. It's just actually a little bit easier. So we're starting with the D6, doing the exact same picking with that same alternate middle finger thing. But here's the deal. For the first verse, we're gonna do this D6 chord, not twice in a row, but four times in a row. So four times on the D6, then we switch to the G minor six, we do that just twice. Then we go back to the D six twice. So that was D six four times, G six twice, back to D six twice. Then we do the exact same thing again. So it's D six four times, four times, G six twice, back to D six twice. So here's, here's where you're gonna mess up, you guys. We're gonna practice it, but here's where you're gonna mess up. We go D6, D6, G6, and we go to D6. We do the D6 twice, but then we have to do the D6 an additional four times when we start it over, so we end up playing the D6 six times in a row. Let's just, okay, I should cut this whole thing out. One, two, entire verse. And boom, ga, boom, ga, ga, boom, ga. Stay there. Get ready. Here we go. Then switch back. Then we start over right now. Start over. Stay there. A lot of D6. Get ready. Here we go. All right. 
right, we finished the verse. Time for the pre-chorus. Guys, pre-chorus is like this. You go to a D9, no, a C9 chord, guys. C9 is middle finger, third fret, second string from the top, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the top, ring finger, third fret, third string from the bottom, and pinky, third fret, second string from the bottom. D9. We're gonna do the same picking. We're gonna do that alternating middle finger thing, and we're gonna do it twice. So we go boom, ga, top string, boom, ga, top string. Then we anticipate going back up to the D6. We do the same thing there twice. Then you go back to the C9, do it twice again. Then we anticipate going back up to the D6 again, but watch this. We only do it one time, and then we switch to a D sharp diminished. Guys, this might be the hardest chord in the song. It's gonna be middle finger, sixth fret, second string from the top, ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the top, your pinky plays seventh fret, second string from the bottom, and your pointer finger plays five on the third string from the bottom. So it's on the middle four strings, and we go six, seven, five, seven. It's an ugly chord, listen. It's supposed to sound like that, don't worry. We have to get to this chord pretty quickly because we're going D6, switch. We have to anticipate that one. Now, another thing I should say about this D sharp diminished chord, guys, it's a diminished, oh, oh my goodness, what just happened to me? It's a D sharp diminished seventh chord. Um, you're not gonna do that thing where you move your middle finger up. You're just gonna keep your middle finger there. Your thumb's gonna keep playing that. Um, it's just, I think it's tough because getting from this chord to this chord quickly is just really hard. I do not know the only trick, and it's not really a trick at all, is just that your middle finger doesn't have to leave the string. Oh wait, but it does because we bounced up there. So yeah, there's nothing good about this, guys. Let's just practice going boom, ba, boom, ga, ba. Let's do that two times. One, two, nice and slow. And boom, ga, boom, ga, oh. And one more time, here we go. And boom, ba. All right, that is the end of the pre-chorus. Let's just play the pre-chorus all the way through. It was a C9, D6, C9, D6, D sharp diminished. One, two, here we go. And Okay, and then finally we get to the chorus. It's the last section of the song we haven't learned yet. Guys, the chorus starts on an E minor nine chord. It goes like this, middle finger, seven, second string from the top, pointer finger, five, third string from the top. I know it's a stretch, you can handle it. You might wanna do it like this where there's this big space in between your fingers. You might wanna bring your thumb up over the top and have your fingers scrunched together, but at this angle, the way I play it is at this angle where thumb is over the top, fingers are pushed against each other, but they're just coming at the strings at this like 45 degree angle. Middle finger, seven second string from the top, pointer finger, five third from the top, ring finger, seven third string from the bottom, pinky, seven second string from the bottom. People of the world, friends and relatives, this is an E minor nine chord. We're gonna do our regular picking pattern with the alternating middle finger thing. So we go. We do it dos times, Spanish for two, surprised you didn't know that. Then we're gonna switch to a D major seven chord. D major seven is like this, guys. Lift up every finger except for your pinky. Your pinky stays on seven of the second string from the bottom. Pointer finger plays five on the second string from the top. Ring finger plays seven, third string from the top. And middle finger plays six, third string from the bottom. So, that means top string we're not using. Pointer fingers on five, then ring finger on seven, middle on six, 
pinky on seven. Guys, D major seven. We are also going to do that alternating thing. So it's pointer finger, fifth fret, second string from the top, and then your pointer finger jumps up to five on the top string. Guys, you're gonna do the picking twice on this D major seven chord. Then we're gonna go back to the E minor nine and do it twice there. Then go back to the D major seven and do it there. And that's the chorus to the song Hitachi no Koi by Lamp. Guys, play the chorus once. One, two, here we go. Okay, fine. I'll give you another second to get the chord ready. Do you have it? Three, four. <laughs> So beautiful. Oh. And that's the chorus, guys. At this point in time, I would like to talk through the song form, the order of the sections. Start off with the introduction. No problem. We're going D6 to G minor 6. We do that twice. Great. Fantastic. Then we get to the verse. The verse, as you recall, was D6, D6, G minor 6, back to D6, and then we do that whole thing a second time. Then we get to the pre-chorus, which was C9 to D6, C9 to D6, then to D sharp diminished, okay? Then we get to the chorus, which was E minor 9 to D major 7, E minor 9, D major 7. Fantastic. After that, we go back to the verse. The verse is, the second verse is the same as the first verse. We just do it for half as long. So instead of going through that whole cycle twice, we just go D6, D6, G minor 6, D6 one time. Then we get to the interlude, guys. It's sort of like a bridge, just a little in-between little instrumental part. It's exactly the same as the intro. So we do the D6 to G minor 6, D6, G minor 6. Then we get to verse three, which is the same as the second verse, which means we just play through the regular verse pattern, but we only do it once. Then we get to the pre-chorus. Second pre-chorus is exactly the same as the first pre-chorus. Then we get to the second and final chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus, but we're going to play it through twice. So it's E minor 9, D major 7, E minor 9, D major 7, E minor 9, D major 7, E minor 9, D major 7. And then we end by going back to D6 and we just do a very gentle D6, guys. So I suppose it would be in our best interest to play it all the way through. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do the first half slowly, and then we're gonna go full speed for the second half. So after I get through the first chorus, we're gonna stop, and I'm gonna go, second half, here we go, and we're gonna do it full speed, which is still pretty slow. One, two, from the very beginning. <laughs> Chorus, oh, back to the sea now. Stop. 
stop. Now we're gonna do a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Shoot, darn it, I'm on the wrong chord, you stupid dumb pluck. What was it, thumb pluck? Okay, that was close, mm, it's a little. One, two, here's the verse. Back to the verse. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Sayonara, hasta la vista, cowabunga, you guys are the best, so grateful to have you in my life, such a magical journey we just took with the band Lamp and their hit song, Hitachi no Koi, guys, okay, I'm gonna go and do some other important stuff. Mm -hmm. 